Hello, and welcome to Let's Talk Chicago Bears. How you guys doing? I know you're probably thinking, where was the show yesterday? The Friday version, right? Well, your announcer here had a little technical difficulties yesterday. And um, so I recorded the show. I recorded the show, and um, I go to, you know, I do all my things, you know, and I go to upload it, and I had a problem. My computer was being a dick yesterday. So I had to, uh, I dicked around with it for like 35 minutes, 40 minutes, 50 minutes, and I'm like, that's it, and then I lost it. And there was no way I was doing another show again because I was so pissed. And I really wasn't in the mood for it yesterday. I'll be honest with you, I'm... I'm hanging on. My, you know, my friend. I have a friend that I mentioned that's really pretty sick. Um, he is. He's getting ready to pass to another, to the other place. You know, to the up to the heavens. And uh, so, um, I'm just very preoccupied with that. So, forgive me if I don't come across my usual. <laughs> but yeah, I was really pissed about that yesterday. So now I'm doing the show on t- on Saturday, and that's okay because the game isn't until Monday, anyways. Because the Bears, um, I couldn't figure out why their um, injury report was the way it was this week, and I'm like. Because they have an extra day of practice, because they can practice today. So that's why they didn't put out um, Fridays, because it's going to be today, you know. So I I really don't know um, some of the status, but we'll get into that. Okay, so let's get on. Let's get, let's let's rock and roll, baby. Okay, the Bears, as we know, are three and five. (laughs) And Pittsburgh Steelers are four and three. And we are meeting them on Monday night in uh, Pittsburgh. And the Bears and Pittsburgh have played 27 times only, actually. this I find it odd. 27 times dating back to 1934. And back in 1934, they weren't called the Pittsburgh Steelers. Interestingly enough, they were called the Pittsburgh Pirates, which that's what Pittsburgh's baseball team is called. So somewhere along the line, obviously, they got, when the Pirates came along, the baseball team, they came the Steelers. I didn't look it up when because I don't really care. <laughs> uh, the Bears, though, on a good note, are leading the, um, are in the lead. They've won 19. Uh, Steelers have won seven, and there's been a tie. And their last meeting was in 2017. So we'll see what happens here, huh? So it is uh, interesting to me that, um, that they've only met 27 times, and they're like the oldest, um, the two oldest, you know, pretty much teams that have been around. So it, it's interesting. But they're in different league, you know, divisions. One's in, you know, the one, one, and we're in the other one. So, all right, let's get to it. So Ben, big Ben, big old Ben, he isn't like he used to be before, um, Ben. But um, Ben Roethlisberger, he's been in the league uh, since 2004. So, um, and he's had a lot happen to him. He is one beat up quarterback. We know that. So he's not really the Ben of old, but he still, you still can't underestimate him. So he has 17, 1,781 yards of passing with eight um, touchdowns and four interceptions. And he's been sacked 14 times. Now, with the fact that he cannot move, he really, he cannot run anymore. Um, I saw him run a couple weeks ago, four weeks ago in a game, and he had to run because everybody was covered up, there was nobody open, and there was a lane for him to run to get at least four yards, and he took off, and he's just like, (sighs) you know, (laughs) doing one of these. I'm pretty sure I could have beaten him to get those four yards. I'm just saying. And I'm 63 and really out of shape. So, uh, and, you know, Ben is one, but he's one really one tough cookie so we're gonna have to watch out for i mean many many years ago i was watching him on a monday night game and he broke his nose and he didn't know how badly it was he comes off the side he comes to the sidelines and his nose is over here i'm not kidding even the announcers are like oh my god look at his nose and everybody was laughing at him on the sidelines all his teammates and then um the doctor put it back in and he went back in (laughs) he's a tough little booger that's for sure 
Um, okay, so their top running back is Harris. He's re- he has been re- he has rushed for 479 yards with three touchdowns, and their leading receiver is Johnson with 474 and receiving with three touchdowns. So those are their top. Um, the Pittsburgh uh, defense has 19 sacks, four fumbles, and two interceptions. And as you see when we go to the Bears, defensively we are right there with them. They and us and them have a lot of similarities. Um, so defensively wise, they're this you know they're they're matched up very well. So the team overall, so they're seventeenth in passing with an average of two hundred and forty four yards, and that has gone way up because in Ben's heyday, that would be you know he'd be in the top ten for sure. But he's old, he's beat up, and everything's caught up with them. Um, this I like. They're 28th in rushing out of 32 teams. They average 86 yards a game. So that would really help. So, you know, um, we get Hicks and, and those guys in there and uh, uh, Goldman, and, and we, we can stop that rush then. Um, they're 26th in the league in points scored, and they only average about 18 a game. So that has changed for sure because in, in the old days, Pittsburgh put up a lot of points. So we like that too. Um, this is where we got to be careful because we don't score points, and they're seventh in the league defense defensively. They're seventh in the league in allowing points, so they're only allowing average 20. So that's going to be a problem for us, as you're going to hear in a few minutes, because the Bears are really bad with that kind of stuff. Okay. So the Bears, our quarterback, obviously, is Fields, and he has he hasn't played as many games as Ben this year, and he isn't. You know, that's why he only has 991 yards passing, but he's got 243 yards rushing with two TDs. He has been, he has, um, this is really the bad part. He has three inter, uh, three touchdown passes with seven interceptions. That's not a good ratio. And he's been sacked another, this is a wow, 26 times. Okay, so we got to turn around the touchdowns to interception ratio and the sack thing. Um, I'd like to see more passing and less rushing, but that's just me. I'm, I know he can run, and that's great. But as he gets better, he's gonna, those numbers are going to flip. Um, but, but on those seven interceptions, I will say that I know at least two of them were tips. I know that for a fact. There might have been three of them, but um, regardless, an interception, interception. But when a when a um, pass is tipped, whether it's tipped at the line of scrimmage or it's tipped by a receiver, um, it's anybody's ball then, and that's what happened here in this case a couple times to field. So, and then um, the Bears running back right now. You know, he's my favorite, number twenty four, Herbert, the rookie. He's it. He's been in since David Montgomery's gone down, and. David Montgomery is soon to come back. I predict he'll probably be back after the bye. So with Montgomery and Herbert, a one-two punch, we should be unstoppable in the run. And let's just hope the Bears' stupid coaches realize that and run the ball more. I love Herbert. So let's see what he does this week, huh? Um... Mr. Mooney, my uh, number 11, Mr. Mooney, you know, one of my, my favorite receiver. He, has, he leads all the receivers with 409 um, yards passing and uh, receiving, and um, he has one touchdown. I love Mr. Mooney, and I told you, he is going to be end up being our number one receiver by the end of the year, and I'm right about that. You know, they shouldn't have ever really even signed, um, in my opinion, Allen to the, um, to the tag the franchise tag, because, you know what, he doesn't seem like he even wants to play anymore for the Bears, so they wasted their money on that, so he's gone after the season, so goodbye, Allen Robinson. Um, which reminds me of Cuckoo, Mrs. Robinson, heaven holds a place for us to, what am I doing? Wrong show. <laughs> Okay, so you'll see that where the Bears' defense um, is a lot like Pittsburgh. We have 21 sacks, four interceptions, four fumbles. They are very close to us, so defensively-wise, we have a lot. Now, this is where that we, we really look bad. Um, well, not as bad as they are, as I think about it. Um, well, right here we are. Passing, uh, total passing per game 
we are 32nd in the league out of 32 teams. We're dead last. This is with 127 yards passing a game. Oh my God, that's like a pee wee game down the street at the four at the uh, park district with the little guys running. They can do 127 yards. Oh my God. But rushing, we are sixth in the league out of 32 teams. We're averaging 136 yards. So let's see them really get a good game going on rushing. That we're going to need it. Um, we're pretty bad at this one, two points scored, which I told you with their defense with points allowed, we're in trouble because what I said, they were what sixth in the league uh, with allowing, and they've only been allowing an average of 20 a game. Well, we're 31st in the league on scoring out of 32 teams. So we've been scoring an average of 15 points a game. Oh, my God. Again, peewee score. <laughs> <coughs> and then points allowed by our defense. We're 12th, and we've been averaging 24. So defensively, as you see, we are very comparable to them. So I'm not, you know, I don't, um, I'm not totally sure, um, you know, they're, they're not Pittsburgh Steelers of old. They're just not. They're in a transition period as well. They're trying to rebuild their defense. They're, they're, they're trying to get a running game going and, um, um, as far as the quarterback goes, it's Ben, and, you know, they have got to go get a quarterback this year on the offseason because he looks old, and he don't move very well, see, see, so he's a sitting duck in the pocket, and if we can get, hopefully, Matt can play, if Matt's playing, and Quinn, they can get, in my opinion, they should come home with at least four to five sacks, because he don't move, but we'll see about that, because this is what I'm talking, so as of injuries, as of yesterday, and they have not posted, Mac, 52, uh, number 44, Old Tree, number four, Eddie Jackson, all on our defense, um, those three, uh, Mac is our, our defensive line, Ogletree is our linebacker, and Jackson is our cornerback, and they were all questionable. They did not practice this week, so who knows what that means. Um, I'll tell you what, we really need all three of them very badly. We could probably do, um, we could probably make it without Ogletree because we have Danny Trevason back, but when Jackson went down in the game last week on the second play, it showed. Our, You know how I've said all season, our, our backfield is terrible. And number four, Eddie Jackson, and number 33, Jalen Johnson, are the best we got back there. And, you know, they're good. They're not great, okay? Um, so... Without Eddie Jackson in there, it's going to really hurt, so we really need him back. And then um, there was also two guys on offense that were questionable, number eight, the, the backup running back, Williams. And then Mr. Mooney had a groin issue, but I know he's going to play. So so if we can get Mac in this game, um, I don't know. They might let him sit out and, and then have the bye and then come back, but it would be great to have him in this week because him and Quinn could just make a sandwich out of Ben. It's a big Ben sandwich with him in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm sorry somebody's texting me. How rude. I'm doing my show. Um, but this is a funny fact about Ben and um, Justin Fields. So when Ben was a rookie in 2004, he came into the league, Justin Fields was five years old. Oh, my God. That has got to make Ben feel really old. Um, but this is a bad thing for us on Monday night because, you know, the Bears – don't have a great record on Monday night anyways, but the Steelers, the Steelers have won 19 straight home games on Monday night, and this is dating back to 1991. Oh boy, not a very good thing for us. And the Bears have played 72 times since Monday night football started back in 1970. That was the first time they played uh, that and if uh, blah, 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 Monday Night Football was on, and the Bears are 32 and 40, so that's not a good record. Uh, the Bears, let's face it, don't play well on Sunday night or Monday night. They just don't, and it's so freaking freaking um, annoying because they're on um, in front of the national, you know, the, the out there, you know, so it, it's kind of sucks. I wish they would get their, you know what, together and win this game. So really for them to win this game is always, you know, I'm not going to go through all the things, but I would like to see, it, 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 now providing Max in there, we don't know for sure because it hasn't come out yet, um, 
four sacks, uh, and if and if they can cause him, if they can get close to him, he's going to throw an interception for sure. So I predict four sacks. Of course, there's a little caveat of whether Mac plays. There's going to be an interception, which will help. And then I'd like to see Justin. You know, I'd like to see the Bears coaches, which they won't do because they suck, is to get them in some kind of a rhythm. How many times have you heard announcers say that? You know, you need to get your quarterback in a rhythm. Have them do some short passes in a row. You know, you can mix a run in there, of course, but get them confident. You know, five to eight yards, maybe ten max, but just to get him his confidence. So he's going down the field, he's making completions, and then he can feel comfortable and confident. The Bears don't do that. Okay, they just don't do it. We know, and um, I, my son was telling me this, that apparently this is how the play calling goes, which I knew it because I could smell Nagy, and even though they said Bill Lazor's calling the plays, I can still smell Ma- Nagy in there. So apparently this is what works, what is happening. Nagy is putting a game plan together, and then he hands it to Bill Lazor probably Saturday night, if it's a Sunday game, Sunday night, if it's a Monday game, and tells them, okay, these are the um, plays that I want run. You pick, you can pick and choose from them. So in my opinion, Nagy is still calling the plays. And that's the problem for me because I don't want him to screw up fields like he did number 10, Mitchell, because he's not calling plays to fields' strengths and ability. And especially with the rookie, that's what they should be doing. And they're not doing it. And we all know it. And, and you know, that's why they got to get rid of all the coaches. Boom. Next year, we, and then we keep them for a long time. Because we don't want to have Justin going through coaches every couple of years because that's bad too. We need a guy, a coach that's not going to think about himself. He, we need a coach that just wants to coach a team. He's going to get an offensive coordinator. He's going to let him handle that, and he's going to run the team. And he's going to work with Justin, and he's going to get a good offensive coordinator that can work with Justin. And we can develop this young man the right way and then build a winner in the next what year or two. So we know we got a clean house here. And I just pray every, every week that um, Justin doesn't get screwed up by Nagy like he did Mitchell. He did. That's just the, it, it, that's just the truth. And we all know it. So they got to go, right? We know that. But um, so we'll see. That's my prediction. I like to see. I want to see. I have a feeling Justin might have a good game. I just got a feeling. You know what? We're very close, these teams. Our records are close. Our our strengths, our weaknesses are close. So it's going to be. And you know what? Funny thing is, is that these team, these two teams are owned, are still owned by their original owners. The Roonies have always owned the Pittsburgh Steelers, and the Hallises slash McCaskies have always owned the Bears. So these are two um, rooted football t- uh, teams, organizations in the NFL, and they're friends. You know, because they've been around forever, right? So I'm sure Mama Mama Virginia will be at this game. So let's get her a win. Wouldn't that be nice? Let her see that her um, her investment in Justin is working out, right? And then get rid of the coaches. Yes. Okay. So, you know, I don't, know, I don't think it was one of my better shows, but I'm just giving you the facts, man. The facts as they are, right? So, oh, and let's talk about... That selfish, lying, conceited prick in Green Bay they call a quarterback. Well, he is a good quarterback. <clears throat> um, what do you think about him, Rodgers, this week? I am I am not surprised at all that he lied about being um, vaccinated. And apparently he's been doing some homeopathic stuff. And he went to the NFL and they said, no, if you don't have a card from Pfizer or Moderna or Johnson & Johnson, that's not vaccinated. So they knew it. But he wasn't following the protocols because when you're in the um, building and you're not vaccinated, you've got to have a mask on all the time unless you're playing or working out. You're not allowed to sit with vaccinated um, players at food time. And when you're in the workout, you've got to be separate from him. And he doesn't do any of that. And then he gets COVID. And so now that selfish little me, me, me is hurting his team because football is a team sport, not a me sport, Rodgers. I mean, I know the guy is a great quarterback, but he is not 
a great human being by any means. You know, look at all the shit he did in the offseason. I'm not going to play. I'm not going to play, which we all know is a bunch of bull. He just didn't want to work out, and he wants to get out of his contract. And um, so I hope Kansas City kicks their ass this week. Unfortunately, Kansas City isn't that good this year, but it is in Kansas City. So please, Mahomes and company, beat their ass. Because, you know, just show Rodgers you're such a prick. He's so selfish. And I hope he has to sit out two games. I don't want him to be sick. Real sick, I don't. Because I, I, I'm just not like that, you know, even though I can't stand him. But um, but I'd like to see him miss another game, too, to just show that team that he don't care about you. All he cares about is himself, and we know that. And um, I love hearing all the negativity. And then he did some interview yesterday, and he was quoting Martin Luther King and this and that. What? Shut up, Rogers. He, he's such a doofus jerk. Right? Yeah. So, screw you, Rogers. Yeah. Anyways. And then, oh, yeah, the Odell Beckham. You know how uh, Cleveland has released Odell Beckham because Odell Beckham, they can't deal with him anymore. And I, I've been seeing, oh, can we get him? Can we get him? We're not going to get him, guys. Um, would it be a nice target for Fields? Hell, yeah, because this guy is tall and he can run routes. And he's only 28 years old, so he's still young, although he's got a chip on his shoulder, which is a problem. But um, – I was reading, there is a bunch of teams, and um, almost all of them have, there was like six teams that they named, and all of them have winning records and have a chance to go to the playoffs, all going to go after them. So I highly doubt that the Bears, um, you'd get them cheap for this year, the, how they're structuring it. So he's going to be available Monday because he has to clear the wave wires. And the way they structured it, Cleveland, um, you'd get them for a steal this year. But then in, in the off season. They may or may not keep him, whoever picks him up right now. So maybe we could get him for next year. We'll see. I mean, I wouldn't mind because, but he's got a chip on his shoulder and he's got an attitude. So that's a problem. That's why he's, that's why they booted him out of uh, Cleveland because he was complaining so much that um, the quarterback Mayfield does not throw to him. So whatever. But yeah, we'll see. So I'm just trying to calm down that chatter because this year it's not going to happen. Now, in the off season, it's a whole nother story. So we'll see then, right? Okay, so this is the Saturday aversion for the Monday night game of Let's Talk Chicago Bears, which we did. And as always, you know, I love you guys. I think you're awesome. I love your support. I love your comments. You guys are just great watchers, and I do really, really appreciate it. And as I always leave with a good message, put your hand in mine, and let's stop hate. Let's stop, you know, um people just bullying and, and, and just having their way. It's their way or no way. You know, come on. Let's just all get along. Let's all care. Let's, let's smile at somebody. Let's take care of people. Help somebody in the store if they need it. You know, you, know, you don't know what's going on in their lives. You don't know what is happening. And, you know, kindness, kindness is the best medicine for all of us. And we need to be kind. What happened to that? I just... We are there's just so much hatred going on. I want hatred to be stopped, and I want us to come back together again and and get through all this together. It's been a rough couple of years, and um, it's just not going to get better for a while. So we need to just respect one another and love one another, please. It's just not that hard. And you know the bear, your Bears fans, and you know disappointment every week and every year. So. Let's stick together and look at, you know, try to find the bright spot on things and just be happy and get rid of hate and bring kindness back. Please? Pretty please? <laughs> Anyways, that's all I got to say today. So I will see you guys on Tuesday morning, barring any more technical issues. And um, and let's go. Let's hope the Bears win. I say they're going to win. That's what I'm saying. Um, it's going to be a great game for everybody on Monday Night Football. We're going to show those people that we can play on Monday Night Football, right? Right! <laughs> and as always, keep on rocking and rolling from Vegas, baby. I'll see you Tuesday. Hopefully it'll be Victory Tuesday and I can sing the song. Bye-bye.